What's up guys? Today we are back at them. We got these guys here and we got some brand new products. I know it's constantly new products. So we almost have to come down here every week to do new products because they always got new products. But today we're gonna be looking at some cool stuff. So you guys stick around. So we got a few products like Clay said here on the table that we want to talk about and show you. Um, we'll make try to make it pretty quick. I know we tend to talk a lot, so we're gonna make this one a little bit quicker. First, we have our 15 piece. We're missing some here, but 15 piece drill bit set. It's gonna come on your magnetic base like this. The part number on that is PDHSSC15. These are made out of M35 cobalt, and they are your head shanks. So they go right into those guns. Uh, I believe they go from. What do they go from an eighth all the way up to three quarters? I want or uh, to three eighths. I want to say, I believe, yeah, they go up to three eighths. We're just missing the, the three eighths here. But I know a lot of you are gonna ask, How well do they cut? There we go. So we have this. How thick would you say this is? Um, quarter found inch. this, yeah, it's at least a quarter inch. Found it out in the warehouse. I'm gonna just try to drill right through this guy. I was through it a while ago, I guess. Made a mess. Made a mess. <laughs> Did you make it through? Yeah, I went all the way through. Oh, okay. I've been through it. I thought I was wondering why it took so long. I've been through <laughs> it. I just didn't notice it because the phone, you don't really bottom out on it. So they do cut. Cut pretty well, I'd say, no? Yeah. I like the quarter inch shanks on it. That way you can use it on an impact driver. It's always there a plus. Right. Yeah, and they have a slight table. step design. So it helps, you know, center it and uh, cut through a little easier. Well, yeah. Something else that's new and we've had... Blow it off. <laughs> we had the EDM 400 for a while. You guys have maybe seen it. Louis, do we have an old one here somewhere? Um, it used to be a five-piece set. And so we've updated it, add a few more sizes. Um, so you have these extra deep quarter-inch, they're all quarter-inch sockets, 7 through 15 millimeters. This is the EDM 400A. And if any of you guys have the, the old set. any of you guys have this set, the old EDM 400, we do have all these pieces available individually, so you can complete your set, and you can put them on a Magro, you can put them on whatever tool organization system you have. Um, but if you buy the EDM 400A, they come nicely packed in this foam. Very nice. And it's brand new. So how deep is the bolster? Oh, very good. The brooch is like an inch. Very nice. Yeah. Next on the list is the DSPA 200. And a lot of people have been waiting for this one because we showed it at SEMA and it was very popular. So these are impact adapters that are either fixed or swivel or dual swivel. There you go. They're pinless um, and you can have them any way you want if you just need a single swivel or if you need a little bit more reach or a little bit more access, mm -hmm. um, you can use that dual swivel. So you have a quarter, three eighths and half in here. We have the DSPA 100, which is satin chrome finish, um, and it's also dual swivel. It doesn't have this optional design, right. uh, but now we have the DSPA 200. Those just got in stock this week, so if you order them now, you'll get them within a week. Yeah. And there you go. We also have these guys here. I don't know if we've ever talked about these on Clay's channel. We've definitely talked about them on our YouTube channel. This is our new six-piece DHP 100. That stands for door hanging pins. And uh, for all you collision shot guys, you body shot guys, what these are used for are instead of those expensive how much would you say those average those cars are to carry a door and try to hang that thing a up? lot <laughs> exactly so <laughs> these guys for a fraction of the cost you stick these in the actual hinges in lieu of the screw hole or in lieu of the screws so that you have something in place so you can rest the actual door on while installing the door back on the car because mm -hmm. there's obviously two per hinge two screws yeah. so one on the top one on the bottom that'll hold 250 pounds no problem it rests right here on this indent. You screw in your screws without having anybody else hold up the door for you. Take these bad boys out, screw in your other screws, and you're done. 
Very nice. Super simple. Doesn't take up space in the shop. A lot cheaper than those full carts. Absolutely. D H P one hundred, right? Yeah. Door hanging pin one hundred. So now I want to talk about one of my favorite things because everybody knows I'm a ratchet. <coughs> I love ratchets. So I'm a ratchet idiot. And you guys have the brand new flex head. Yeah. Ratchet, so. Just got those bad boys in. Much awaited. Everyone's been asking us to do flex heads, mm -hmm. uh, especially in the heavy duty design because our heavy duty ratchets hold up so well people wanted them in a flex head and so now they're here they look just like our fixed head heavy duty ratchets except now these are obviously flex head right. um, still 90 teeth comfort grip 18 inches long satin chrome finish and this half inch is rated for 400 foot pounds very nice good job on that guys and so here's the three eighths the three eighths is 14 inches long mm -hmm. and the quarters nice. I'm glad y'all didn't do the little bitty short quarter inch trash hat. Yeah, 10 inches is yeah. a, it's a good length. Size, <laughs> definitely. So, uh, rebuild kits are available, guys. Lifetime warranty, like always. Super simple to rebuild. So, if you get them and you break them, just. We'll rebuild. do a video pretty soon breaking them. Yeah. And then rebuild them. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so some people break them, but they never rebuild them. The big yeah. thing is when you rebuild them. So you can actually see how difficult it is. Actually, actually when we that. did a video, we broke our quarter inch ratchet, we rebuilt it, and it went for like five pounds more. Well, that's what I'm getting at. Some people don't, they just break them. They're like, oh, well, you can rebuild them. And nobody knows how or how difficult yeah. it is to rebuild. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a good video. So I'm excited about these. This is a good product, but this is really cool too, because I want to kind of show you guys, before we started the video, you can see this shiny spot here. I played with their new toolbox cleaner. I know you guys have showed it on your channel, but that's the first time I got to actually use it. And you can really tell, like that was literally five seconds worth of rubbing on that. It went really quick. Yep. So I want you guys to show everybody the full line of this because this stuff is amazing. So we have a couple different cleaning products. We have the toolbox cleaning spray. Um, we have a ceramic sealant. And that's normally labeled. It's just we didn't have the labeled one up here. I want to and we have a metal plastic and fiberglass polish. If any of you guys are familiar with the company Flitz, we worked with them to develop these line of uh, cleaning products. These are very high quality. Like, what is it, a 10 pound tube of this? A five pound tube is included on every Viking yacht 10 pound that's sold. 10 pound tube sold. Uh, is included on every Viking yacht that's sold. This tub should last you a very long time. You can use it. That's the thing, you buy it once and it's, it's gonna be hard to go through that because a little bit of it goes a very, very long way. Yeah. Uh, but you can use this on so many different things. You can use it on uh, aluminum. You can use it on gold, silver. So if you're trying to do um, jewelry, you can use it on, you know, to remove gun bluing wow. or prevent gun bluing. Uh, you can use it to remove the fog on your headlights or just to polish really your car. It's an all metal and plastic fiberglass polish it, it yes. does wonder but what we're gonna do is play zoom on all these nasty scratches oh, yeah. it's spot. got some it's got some pretty good some scratches and gouges but there's there it is that's the one back here that's really bad so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the ball the polishing buff ball here it's our five inch buff ball right onto your drill and i am going to polish half of this box so you can see the difference between a polished stainless finish and a non-polished stainless finish. And then I'm gonna clean the entire box and then I'm going to ceramic coat only one half of the box. And we're gonna beat it with some water and see how this holds up. Let's do it. All right, so let's go do this. So guys, this ain't smoking mirrors. This won't be cut, like I'll fast forward it because I know it's gonna take a while to, to do it all. But this is a real Matco box, stainless top. And this here, I just did like literally three spurts and mopped it with a rag. That's all that is with the toolbox cleaner. So I haven't seen exactly what's going to happen with the polish. So I'll say it when you guys say it. Something else I forgot to mention is that this comes on one of, one of our magnetic jars. Mm -hmm. So you can just throw it anywhere. Very cool. Drill the piece of shit. We were going to show that with our polishing buff ball here, but this drill finally took a poop. So you guys have been following my channel for a while. Y'all seen what happened to the old snap-on polisher? Well, third to Walt. Drill, it's been it's, to, it's been through some days. You can see that it's it's been used. So we're gonna have to show the polish by so, hand because so. that is the last yep, of the it, drills it here. It was at sputtering <laughs> here. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'll clean up this entire box, 
and then I'm gonna only ceramic seal one side of it. And you're gonna see how water beads off one side versus the other. Okay. How does that sound? Perfect. All right, let me go get a microfiber. So this section here, you guys can tell kind of what happened. Like this is where I just used the toolbox cleaner. It worked really well. And here's where they started polishing with the polish. And it's definitely a big difference. You see the finish, the difference in finishes is crazy. But the drill only lasted no. like, Three seconds, and some of the deeper so. scratches you might have to wet sand and then really if you want to break it brand new because it will shine your all but some of these deep deep scratches don't need a lot of elbow grease and probably a sander so let's see what we got going on here oh by the way this polish comes with one of our magnetic jars so you can really stick it anywhere yeah that's cool. five pound magnet on that lid so this yeah. side hasn't had anything done to it obviously Correct. like it had you can see the, the oil so and the grease and all that good stuff. So I'm trying to keep the camera in the same spot where we got some light. Let's see. Let's, let's just start with part of it so you can see the difference on this. Take all that grease grime off of it. I mean, come on. You compare that to that. And that's three seconds worth of water. Now I'm gonna go on. I'll do the whole thing here. Get all this nasty stuff off. All these greasy fingerprints, people touching all your shit, all that. That cleaning spray works pretty well on that toolbox is also it yeah. doesn't leave a shine. Different, all types of different surfaces. It won't damage stuff. You use it on just about anything. So for you guys, it's got a matte box, and every time you touch it, it leaves the fingerprints. This will fix it. Look at that. I mean, I did a pretty good job. Cleaned all the fingerprints and stuff off. All right, so now I'm gonna clean the entire box, and then I'll ceramic coat just this side. We're gonna see how that water beads off it. Now you mean there's no fingerprints or anything on it, right? It's all clear. Got all the nonsense off. <coughs> so now we're gonna grab our ceramic sealant here. We are going to coat just this side. So we're gonna draw an imaginary line right here. And let's like open this little bottle. Let's get it open. Remember, this is all just by hand, so no funny business. And then once you get it pretty much dry, you'll see a couple streaks, and you just grab the dry side of the microfiber. Down. Dog crying. There we go. All right, so now you got treated side, non-treated side. Let's see what it does when we throw some water bead on it. This way so you can see the box coming up. You wanna hand me that water, Michael? Or spray the water all over it, actually. Spray her down. Treated side is this side. You can almost see it. Oh, you shit. can see exactly yeah. where the line is. That's you crazy. You can see it. All right, you want to, no, get it real wet. Get more. Throw a ton of it on there. You see what happens. That's crazy. That is nuts. You got a good shot of that? Yeah. There we go. Difference. Well, none of it's beating. Not enough water. Just some more water on it. Well, that side's beating. Just the non-treated side's not. That is crazy. That is nice, isn't it?
You can definitely tell where it was at. There's no doubt. That's crazy. That is nuts. You can compare the difference between the two of them. So if you guys ever want to roll your tow box out in the rain, make sure you got it ceramic coated. <laughs> you want to roll it. <laughs> works on your trucks, works on painted services, not mm -hmm. just for your toolbox, but it does help on your toolbox to keep it coated so that when you do have that grease and those fingerprints and all that nonsense on it, it comes off a whole lot easier. So the toolbox cleaner will work on gloss or matte finish, right? Correct. It'll work on any kind of stainless, it'll work on aluminum, any of that stuff, it'll clean. So you don't have to worry about having a different cleaner if you got a matte box or aluminum cleaner or stainless cleaner, one does it all. So that's a good thing. And the polish will work on, I guess that's more just for the bare metal stuff, like your stainless or if you have aluminum top for whatever For the reason. polish, yeah, the polish you can use for- I don't know why you exactly. want aluminum top, but hey. But you can use it on that. <laughs> And for your dealers out there, you can use it on diamond plating on your truck, the, you wheel, the chrome the wheels. You can see difference here where he dried it. Like, look how the difference, how the water did. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. streaks here. There's no streaks mm -hmm. on this side. Points a little different, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all we had to show today, right? So. That's cool. So the toolbox cleaner, all that's wow. available on your website? All of it. I mean, you could feel it. Holy shit. You go like that. On the website, you'll find it on the truck. Any of our distributors um, can carry it, so you can find it in a lot of different places. Just search the part number, which would be TBCS1 for the toolbox cleaner, CSS1 for the ceramic sealant spray, and MJPP for the, for the, power polish paste. the polishing paste. Search any of those on Google, you'll probably find someone that's selling it, um, or just ask your dealer and he can get it for you. Sweet. All right, guys, like always, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you're not following the VM channel, you need to, because we're fixing to do some cool stuff um, coming up. Yeah, so. it's coming weeks. You'll see a cool little collab, so uh, keep an eye out for that. So You'll know what we're talking some, about. We're going to do some stuff that's going to be pretty interesting really soon, and we're going to tear up a whole lot of shit. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> that's going to be fun. All right, guys, check out the VM channel. Like always, hit that thumbs up. Check out our merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your fine danger and click that button. So yeah.